Hey there guys, Sean from Design Gaff here. So up until recently I have been using the mug press for all of my sublimation work on mugs and cups um, but the results have always been a wee bit substandard with the mug press. To tell you the truth, or it was always a little bit shit. So for that reason I took all mugs down off my website because I didn't want to be selling people mugs that I wasn't happy with. Um, the main problem was the mug press wasn't heating the top of the mug or the bottom of the mug. There was always a little bit faded around that area. So I dug into it, done a wee bit of research and came up with a different way of sublimating mugs, tested it out and I have to say I think the results were a lot better. And so today I am going to show you just one of these results and um, I am going to be putting this picture behind me of myself and the wife onto a mug um, and I will show you the process, I will show you the results. Also I will be using the new, go down here, this is the Epson Sure Color F100. Um, I only got it last week, I've tried it out a couple of times and it's pretty good, so a little A4 sublimation printer is nice and small it doesn't take up a lot of space on the desk which was what I wanted it for and um, plus you get lots of ink with it so that is the sublimation printer I'll be using my last one is Banjax um, I wasn't using enough and the whole thing clogged up I tried on blocking it but it didn't work but um, yeah so let's jump into onto the computer here and show you the picture that I am going to print on this little printer okay so here we are guys in photoshop this is the image that i'm going to put onto the mug i've resized it so it fits on the mug i've just kind of extended the edges of it here um, and used the clone stamp tool to fill in the wee bits and um, it was a quick job but this is just for the purpose of this video and um, so this is my template for the mug the size is let me see in centimeters it is 22.2 long ways and nine centimeters height in height 300 dpa as well so there is lots of pixels in this image so it's going to be nice and sharp so from there what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a new a4 size document because this is an a4 size printer that i'm printing this with um, and i am just going to drag this into the A4 size print. So this is going to be the size of the image on the A4 sheet of paper. Now if you wanted you could print two on the A4 um, but I don't need two right now. I only need the one so let's just stick it into the center and I will click on print here. Okay, so this is going to be Epson. This is this one here. So let's turn it the other way. Uh, so print settings. It is set up automatically here. Quality will go super high. Um, okay, and from there I am going to click print. So we'll go back to the printer. Let's go. Okay, so here it comes guys, this is for the mug, um, this is the picture I'm printing, this is what I'm going to put on the mug, um, you can get these canvases on my website guys, it's www.designgap.com, I'll put a little link down below, and this is a 20 by 30 inch canvas here, but I have a couple of different sizes there, I can also do digital files you know if you don't want to pay for postage so just get in touch and um, so okay so here we go so what is going on with this okay let's just push you back in okay so here we go this is the file so I'm gonna put this on to a 10 ounce mug and show you my new way of sublimating them. 
which is like I said at the beginning giving me far far better results than the mug press all right so the really good thing about this gauge is there is no preheating required of the mug so I'm just clean this up and okay so what I'm going to do here is just get this image into position here sure it's all lined up nice and straight and um, so we get right up to the almost to the very top and it's going right down to the bottom as you can see the mug as well okay so a wee bit of tape right there oops And what I will do is try and get it good, get it good and tight here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is that ready. Then just to kind of protect the silicone wrap, I'm going to put this heat transfer paper around the mug. And just turn this sideways so you can see it. And place it into the center. Okay, so make sure the mug is going to be completely covered by the silicone wrap. And put this in under the handle. And this one up as well. And clip it together. Okay, so just like that. Now this is, I must say, this is an 11 ounce silicone wrap and this is a 10 ounce mug. Now I haven't had any problems really so far with it. Um, it probably would work a lot better even on an 11 ounce mug, but I'm just going to show you guys the results I get with this. Okay, so now we just wait for the oven to heat up. Okay guys, so this is my new way of sublimating. Looks like a UFO, but it is an oven, some sort of oven. Um, so I got this for, I think it was around 40, 45 euro, maybe an Argos. Um, there's a wee clock inside it there. Um, that cost about 10 euro on Amazon. Um, but it is you do need one of them because you know I heat the mugs up to 180 degrees in this machine and um, in order to get it 180 degrees in the oven I have to put this to 210 degrees now you wouldn't know that if you didn't have the little clock inside there you know you wouldn't know that it's 180 degrees inside of that oven so get yourselves one of them they are fairly cheap 10 euro on Amazon I think that cost and um, so what I'm going to do here I have the mug all wrapped up um, so I'm going to place this inside this now give me a wee second and I'll put this down Okay, so I'm gonna place that right there. Time, I'm gonna put the 13 minutes. Okay, so 13 minutes, the mug is on its side. And halfway through the process, maybe about when it gets to the six or the seven minute mark, I am going to flip the mug over to the other side I tried it um, the other day without flipping the mug and the results weren't as good. It was it was good on one side, it was pretty shitty on the other side, so very important, flip the mug. Okay, so I will place this down here and fast forward the video.
Okay guys, we are at the seven minute mark here. I am going to put on heat glove, very important. Um, open it up and flip the mug around. Oops. Okay, back on again. All right, so we got seven minutes to go. Okay, guys, we have got one minute to go here, and um, one minute out of the thirteen. Now it does take a lot longer than a mug press, you know, you could press a mug in about four or five minutes. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about results, you know, what's going to give you the best results. And, you know, if you're selling these things to customers, then you need to have good results. Um, the good thing about this one is you could probably fit two mugs in there. You might get three mugs in there even. Um, but we're almost done here. I also have a sink full of lukewarm water just to dip the mug in as soon as it's done. You have to make sure it's not too cold or you will end up cracking the mug so it is lukewarm. Um, okay the dial is at zero. It's kind of going all weird there on the phone but it's not doing that in you know in person here. It's kind of strange. Okay, another thing to make sure you have is a pair of heat resistant gloves and a knife just to kind of take the heat tape off. Um, so I will just set this down here for a second and rotate it around. I'm in the back hallway here if you're wondering. This is where I do all the heat pressing and the mug pressing. Well, not so much the mug pressing anymore. Okay, so that's done. Simple little thing, you just gotta pull this up and it all hooks. And take off the tape. So tape pull off, then I am just gonna dip this into the water. Just to let it cool down for a second. Just move this down. as well okay so let's get a little look at this guy so here we are and um, as you can see there is me Press right to the edge and um, right to the top of the mug, no fading, um, right at the bottom there as well. It's the wife, look at how sharp the details are as well. You know, like I said, it just comes out so much better than it does on a mug press. If I had done this in the mug press, this would have been faded, it would have been faded up here, it would have been faded probably down here as well. You know, you would never have got right to the very edge not sharper detail um, you know so I am a lot happier with you know doing the sublimation mugs on this this method um, I'm so glad I discovered it you know I checked out a lot of online forums and you know some people were saying mug presses were better some people were saying it was better in these ovens or in the ovens some people were saying it was better in these contraptions whatever they are um, not even sure what you call them but you know there is the results okay so there you have it guys and um, that is my new way of sublimating mugs i think it is far more effective than using the the mug press it is i did look it up it is called a halogen oven and um, but if you are looking to sublimate your mugs right to the very top 
right to the bottom, right around both sides without any kind of fading, then I think that is the way to go. Um, I think it's way more effective than, than the mug press. So yeah, if you're looking for this design, remember www.designgap.com or just get in touch you know if you're looking for a digital file or i can print them up to 20 by 30 inches here on canvas or put them on the mugs so get in touch and if you like the video make sure to give it the thumbs up and if you want to see more videos related to photoshop and graphic design printing and sublimating printing and personalized products in general just subscribe to the channel peace out